Welcome to Isfahan, Iran. This incredible city is world famous for its beautiful Persian architecture. From its mosques to its palaces to its minarets, there's also a ton of history and culture to explore. From Zoroastrianism to the Islamic era, we're exploring all of that and we're also diving deep into Isfahan's drool worthy food. Korish mast, Isfahani porridge, bamye, gushfil, even an amazing dish called biryani. But it's nothing like the Indian biryani. Give me any kind of biryani, I don't care. Just put it in my belly. Seriously, it's delicious. While I go try to find some biryani in Miami, let's go to Isfahan, Iran. Hello everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been here coming at you from Isfahan, Neschevahan. <laughs> Neschevahan means half of the world. <laughs> I'm here with Mr. Taster and today we're super excited. We just got here to the most beautiful city in the country. This was the capital of the Persian Empire three times and it flourished between the 9th and 18th century. So what are we doing today? We're going to uh, Hodge Darvish Cafe which is really famous here, Haj Mirza Cafe actually. And it's really nice cafe, old cafe with all antiques. We're gonna have uh, eggplant with curd. And it's amazing, you're gonna love it. And we're gonna try the most strangest mix together, which is Dur and Gushfil, sweet and sour together. So we're gonna be amazed today. <laughs> Are you ready, mate? I'm ready. Besides that, we're gonna see the Grand Bazaar, the Grand Mosque, which is right behind me. And uh, we're gonna explore, right? And Persian carpet. Persian carpet. I'm gonna buy one. Let's go. Pop, pop. All right, we are going to visit the Friday Mosque of Isfahan, dating back to early 17th century by King Abbas the Great. The most important elements we'll see here are the minarets, domes, the entrance vault, the central courtyard, and the naves of the mosque. The hugest, one of the hugest domes of the world can be seen in this mosque that is actually double layer and uh, it is very amazing. Let's go. So I've been to Burkana and mm -hmm. Samarkand in okay. Uzbekistan. Very similar but this because this the empire was there as well. And that's why, right? That's right, absolutely right. And then we have the huge gate. I want to tell you something. In Persepolis, we don't have anything, just the remaining, the rampart of the site. And then in there, I'll talk about the entrance to Apadana and I want to just show these huge doors here that had been taken in Apadana. These are the copper made and girded as you see. That's the original seal right on the door. Yeah. As you make your way through the mosque, you enter through here to the dome. Here you can see lots of intricate designs and one of these is very important. This is, what is it right there? That, that is the symbol of Shiism because Safavid kings got Shiism as the former religion of the country, the former sect of Islam here in Iran. That's why we have the name of the Lord and the name of the Prophet Muhammad and the name of Ali as the first Imam in Shiism. A uh, four Ivan mosque. This is a four Ivan mosque. One, two, three, four. So four naves or yeah. four doors. Four doors, we can say in general, or four entrances. And this started in the 11th century, this type of architecture, this right? This type of architecture, yeah. Wow, it's incredible, guys. I mean, look at this. So over here and over here, very similar. So only this one has uh, minarets, right? So two minarets. This is because this is the most important Ivan. Got it. The people got this Oh, This is the most important thing because the Friday Imam sitting on this pulpit over there. You see the mm -hmm. steps over there? He was giving a speech to the people. So the people taking this way on to that section of the mosque. Incredible. I love the colors. Mm -hmm. Super bright blues, yellows, and blue is the meaning of that is sky, right? From my understanding. That is right. The very dark blue to very light blue in the sky. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. This is a must yeah, visit when you yeah, come to really Persia. Amazing, yeah. So let me ask you, Alijan, what's the purpose of this nave? The nave in architecture is a place for gathering. So because there wasn't enough space for all the people to perform the prank with the king, they could get to this side of the main place that was called the naves. So there was enough space for all the people to gather around for performing the praying on Fridays. Got it, so most, so everybody would congregate inside the middle and because too many people, over 50,000 people, they created these extra spaces on this side and the other side absolutely right. for this. Yeah, absolutely wow, right. I mean, this is amazing because it's super hot out there. In here, it dropped like 20 degrees. This is just stunning. I mean, I am in awe. This is, it's too pretty. 
Yeah, of course. The very huge columns here and the very heavy ceiling, as you see. But architecture and the improvement of architecture in 17th century led them to make such a huge, actually, uh, balls and very huge dome on it. It is more than 600 tons, the dome. We'll see the dome right now. Let's go. Let's go. گفتم غم تو دارم گفتم غم تو دارم گفت و غم از سرایت گفتم که ماه من شو گفتم که ماه من شو گفت و اگر برایم گفت و تمر ورزان رسم وفا بیاموز گفت از خوب رویان این کار کم سرایت گفتم زمیر ورزان رسم وفا بیاموز Right here is like the amplifier right here Yeah, the perfect one, I think the clearest one wow. We have 52 echoes here the, Our ears just can distinguish 9 echoes But there are 52 echoes So there's 52 and you only hear 9? Yeah, yeah. We can just uh, hear nine of the echoes. Wow. That was an amazing tour learning about the Grand Mosque. And now we're going to go eat. Eating. <laughs> maybe buy some stuff. Uh, I need to go shopping today. Oh, yeah. Today I'm shopping. Good. I waited for this place. This is the place where they got handicrafts, they have carpets, lots of goods. That's all the stuff. Okay, so this is the Grand Bazaar? Yes. So, so right when you exit the Grand Mosque, you have the Grand Bazaar on both left and right. Look at this, they have endless stuff. They have, wow, look at the carpets. Beautiful. That's the right place to spend money, right here? What is this? No. No gift. Which one you like more? Wow. Look at all these Persian carpets, look at them. Gorgeous. So, oh no, it's not carpet, what is this? They call it Kalamkar. Kalamkar? What's Kalamkar? This is like a, this is for the table then? Yeah, for table. Oh, so it's yeah. a table runner. Okay, yeah. okay, sorry, I thought it was a cover for a second. Okay, beautiful, table runners everywhere. Gorgeous, love them. So many beautiful colors. So this is for a long table, right? And over here you have for more rectangle tables. And here you have a massive table one, right? This is really cool. So it's 100% cotton? 100% yeah, cotton, yeah. This is traditional uh, in Swahan world. As people are too kind. They never have to do this, but they do this out of their heart. Obviously, I'm a foreigner. They're welcoming me to their land. So they want me to take something back from their place. And, you know, they give me what they got, right? And this is what he has. Super nice gentleman. This is amazing. I'm going to give this to somebody in my life, right? Somebody. He's saying, thanks for buying from us. Yeah. Hey, merci, merci. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, merci. Let's go. Okay. Wow, this is beautiful. So what do we have here? Everything. More table runners. You have uh, pillow covers. This is beautiful. Love this. This is true Persian. Wow. I feel like I should take some of these. These are so nice. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. I'm going to go shopping today. Shopping for sure. Always bring a budget to help the people, okay? Always bring money so you can buy and spend. Of course, this is to help them, but also to take back for your families, right? I want to start with the building So these are the boys. Okay. So he's going to actually make the second part of the job that is very important. The most important section of this uh, actually fabric, this type of fabric that is called Galam car in Isfahan. Meshia, Bale. Wow. It's mostly floral design. Wow. Helmet flowers. So the basis is black ink for all of the jobs. And this is the first phase of the job that is very important and delicate. He has to be very precise. It's exactly at the point, right? Like any more, and then, oh, he has to cut it, right? Yeah. Right there? 
Got it, got it. This nice, is handmade. nice. Handmade. That's why the, there is no exact measurement. That's why all the jobs are unique and can be very different from each other. So pretty. So what is this tablecloth? Yes, six tablecloths. By hand, right? This one? Wow. One thousand time stamping. One thousand time stamping? Yes, this one. And this one, 300. Okay guys, so these are tablecloths done by hand, but then the stamping, of course, right? And then coloring. Yes. Very nice. Love it. $15.15 and this one $40. 40. Yes. Same quality, same material. Just more, just more work here. So what do you guys think? Should I take one of these? $60. $60 for this one, right? I mean the quality. But this is just a table runner. This is not a rug. Oh wow, that one's pretty. That was like really pretty. 80, 60, 40. And uh, discount? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can bargain. Uh, of course we can bargain. We can always bargain. It's called shopping for a reason. So guys, I'm taking this one. This is the one I'm going to take. Look how pretty it is. Beautiful. So it's multiple layers, right? Incredible designs, lots of different colors. I love the yellow. That's so, a corner medallion design. I mean, I love it. It's so bright. It, I mean, and it's from here, right? From Iran, made from them. Oh, so that's, wow, so that's a stamp. So this is you guys? Yeah, this is certificate. Oh, this is amazing. So what's the total price here? What are we talking about? You said it was, how much was that one? Uh, this is uh, 90 US. N 90? Our food guide tomorrow. Oh yeah? yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> He's joking, right? <laughs> merci. Merci. My friend, merci, merci. Okay, so give me a 10% discount. I think it's a great deal. I don't have to negotiate anymore. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. For my shopping. Okay, thank you. Thank and I could, I could pay cash. Cash is okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Guys, come to the shop. Buy yourself one of these beautiful table runners. It's a must. You're in Persia, Iran. You have to do it. What's that? David, this backgammon. 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 Yeah. It's really nice. I love the designs. Shisha shop. Shisha. Shisha. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Look at this one. That one's beautiful. You should take it to US. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How much? $200 almost. $200 for this beautiful shisha. Look at this. It's not called shisha. This is uh, where you smell the shisha from. So what is it called? Yeah, the big... We call it Kelyun. Kelyun, which is like a bubbler, right? It's a bubbler. Yeah, bubbler. Yeah. Beautiful though. So this guy sells a bunch of shisha. <laughs> Very nice. Hey, merci, merci. Merci, merci. <laughs> wow. Look at all the copper work here. Look at this. This is how they make Turkish coffee, right? Very nice. Love all the designs here. All the cool cups too. Look at this, like little mugs. For coffee. Tea. Oh, look at the bracelets. And here we have a this jewelry box cotton maker. Cotton work. Cotton works. Cotton works. Cotton, yeah. Cotton. 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 <laughs> you just said cotton. Cotton. Yeah, the Westerners know this as cotton work. It's okay. very delicate job and lots of things you can hear. You can see there, the jewelry boxes, the pants, the boxes, and uh, some boxes for tissues. And uh, you can find everything here as gifts. So basically all boxes, right? Lots of little boxes. I love them. I mean, I was thinking of getting something for my daughters, like one of these beautiful ones. Very, very nice. See, merci. Merci. Let's keep going. Oh, wow, the copper, huh? What is the symbol here? This is actually a copper work, the impression on copper by the artist, and that one is about the lion and the sun on the back that was taken as the flag of Iran in Achaemenid period and then revived by King Abbas the Great in 17th century.
So I'm taking this copper plate. It is gorgeous. It costs $15. It's going to be an entire day to do it. So I'm going to buy it, but I'm also going to buy some other stuff. I'm going to buy some earrings for my daughters and for my niece. Oh, wow. And that's the ring? Oh, it's dope. Oh, and this too? Oh, I want to get one too. I want to get one too. No, super nice. Man, lots of work here. Three dollars. For this? Less than three dollars both. Three dollars. Three dollars, yeah. Less than two dollars yeah. for this for this copper bracelet. Oh dude, it's dope. It's nice, right? It's beautiful. I bought six earrings for my daughters and my niece. Uh, also two necklaces, two copper plates done by him by hand. Everything's done by hand and also this bracelet, 41 US dollars. It's a must buy from this guy. This is super special, all done by him. Support him, guys, support him. This is awesome. I mean, they're, they're gorgeous. Come in, he made it. Wow. Look at the design. And what do you use these for? I'm in Yeah, it's just for decoration. It's amazing. Incredible craftsmanship, right? Is this all silver or no? It's or brass. Yeah. This is brass. Miss. Miss Shimishi? Copper. Oh, there's copper as well? Okay, yeah, just not the color, right? It looks more silver. Beautiful. I love all designs. This is all amazing. I just took a video. I'm going to sell it, sell it for him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Amazing. Merci, merci. Bye bye. Salam, salam. Oh, wow. Look at this. This bazaar is amazing. So many craft vendors. Yeah. Look at this. I know, man. This is too much. It's gorgeous. The work, the details, right? The colors. Wow. Amazing. It really is. All right, let's continue. We won't stop stopping here. Thanks, guys. So that's the end of the Grand Bazaar. Now we're exiting and we're going to look for some food, right? Food time? Oh. Tight squeeze here. No way. I smell it. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's amazing, isn't it's it? It's heaven. Yeah. So, gift for me? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've said this before. Saffron is the most expensive spice on the planet. Why? Because there's only three, like, little hairs that come out of each flower. So, only three. And you have to use a lot to make whatever dish you're making, right? Yeah. Wow, look at that, beautiful. So it's called, so the, here's the petals, stamen, right? Stamen. Yeah. And the stig, stigma, okay. Yeah. Sorry, first time seeing this. Okay, so the land of saffron, right? Yeah. Iran. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Near the northeast of Iran. Northeast? And when, when is saffron, when is the time of year to see saffron blooming? Uh, autumn. Autumn? Yeah. Another gift. Thank you. Persian hospitality. Yeah. My friend. Too much. The best quality, huh? Yeah, this is the best quality. And it's called... It's the first harvest. First harvest is called yes. Kwainat. Kwainat. Kwainat, yeah. Kwainat. Kwainat. Excellent yeah. saffron. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Hey, merci, merci. You're welcome. I'm going to come back again. Very good. I'm coming back. <laughs> this is too good. To wow. The crafts don't end. Such beautiful... Oh, wow. I love this one. This little box. Gorgeous, right? Yeah, a drill little box. Half yeah, for my daughters, this is very nice. Three bars. Of two different colors. Very complicated, but I'll explain it. Okay, so 70 of these, right, together makes this. And then 120 of these makes the big block, which is this block, right? This huge block. And then from here, he cuts it and makes the sheets. Look at this beautiful design. And then from there, he can make anything, right? And some of his works are in uh, the museum in LA, right? Like a museum of art, probably? Uh, art or maybe, I'm not sure, musical instrument. Okay, so a museum in LA has three pieces of his work, right? I love these little hearts. So these are our keychains. How much for this? Uh, okay. One dollar. One dollar. I take uh, I take ten. Okay. I'm a missionary. I'm keeping for nothing. My friend, merci, 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 merci. Mashallah. We're going to the uh, Haji Mirza Cafe. Haji Mirza. The antique cafe. Yeah, the antique cafe. It's amazing. We are going to have eggplant with curd. And also do kushfil, the most strangest mix together. Sour, 
pan sweet. Well, I can't wait because I'm starving. It's been a while since we ate lunch. Yeah, we ate lunch a long time ago. I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> salam, salam. Because I love rocking jerseys and getting the Iran jersey. Iran national team. Yeah, yeah. They're playing USA soon. They're playing the USA. M. M. For you. I'm M. Like this. No, no. Just M is small. This L is good. L? Yes. Okay, I'll try L. We tried to get an XL. Unfortunately, there's no XL. It's only an L. I think it's good though. It fits me. It fits me good. Good player. Good player. Merci, merci. <laughs> the taster. <laughs> this place is amazing. The amount of craftsmanship here. I've never seen a bazaar this full with so many people doing crafts. Everywhere you go, every single shop, they're doing their own. No one is buying from other people. They make it themselves. It's mind blowing, really. Never seen a place like this. Definitely come here, buy some stuff. And it's really, really affordable. So what do we have here? Hey. Salam, salam. Look at these. America. Oh, wow. This gentleman over here makes all these beautiful tile works. Love it. This gentleman in the back, he's making these right here. And it's incredible how he just does all of it right there. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then over here we have some, um, what is it, horoscopes, right? And over here, this is the main square. Some evil eyes, really beautiful. And what are the... Some actually animal design here, flower mm -hmm. design, peacock. This is hot. That's it. Wow, that's hard. Hard, hard. So it's high quality. Yes. So the horoscope ones cost two dollars each. Yeah. So I'm gonna take September. That's me. Let me get July Cancer. Yes. I need a, a May. Yes. And I need a February. This one. It's <laughs> Hey, okay. merci, merci, merci. Uh, no, hey, too bad, too bad, too bad. Thank you so much, thank you. This guy's too nice. Come here, buy some beautiful stuff. I don't see the taster anywhere. Oh, there he is. You're late. <laughs> more stuff, more stuff. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? Everything good? Everything very good. You? Salam, salam. Salam, salam, salam. So what do we have here? Some gems? Yes, all of the gemstones. All gemstones. Okay, so you buying me a gift or what's happening? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you're a gift. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. There's three different colors? Yes, uh, blue, bluish green and green. And you can see the pure ones, uh, the best quality of turquoise from Nishabu Mine. This is a uh, uh, and uh, best quality of turquoise uh, in the ring. Or uh, this is a uh, handmade. Yes. That's a little big for this one. Yes, <laughs> I can size it for you if you want. That's baller, huh? I'm, I'm gonna be like a Persian G with this stuff. Yes. That, that was nice, yeah, yeah, that was nice. Okay? Mm hmm Yes. And you can... So guys, I'm about to cry because they literally gifted me this ring. Obviously, you don't walk around with this on a daily basis. It's like for a wedding, special occasion, you wear this, but... Wow, you guys... Are you Congratulations. It's too much. <laughs> it's so Boston. I mean, now I'm gonna walk around. And everybody's gonna be like, "What is that?" <laughs> Persia. <laughs> My man, thank you so much. Appreciate it. This is. Congratulations, sir. You're too much. Too much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Here. This is this is this is too special. This is too special. So this is the store, right? Right here. Congratulations, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Merci. I'll be back, but when you guys come, come buy some gems right here. No, no, no. Hand, hand. No more COVID. No more COVID. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Merci. Wow. A surprise. Let's go. Wow. Look at the square. Sunset. Best time. Incredible. Lots of birds. Everybody's here. And the bazaar doesn't end. The bazaar keeps going. I mean, right here, right? So you have vendors inside you have the corridor which goes around the whole thing they just told me from the cafe we are going to oh they did said, how do you know that oh my gosh they said we are waiting for you oh man <laughs> crazy <laughs> the girls invited me over because they wanted to talk to me they wanted to teach me some farsi yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We want to teach you. Persian. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, what do you want to know? Anything. How are you? Are you Chetori? Chetori. Chetori. Yeah, Chetori. 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 Yeah. Chetori. 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 Okay. So I'm so good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tell, tell me what another thing. Um, where are you from? Ahle Kojai. Ahle Kojai. Ahle Kojai. Ahle Kojai. Yeah. Ahle Kojai. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> it's not so easy. I speak uh, English, Spanish, Italian. Yeah. So, but, but. But this is, that's Latin, so it's different, you know? Yeah. Farsi, a little harder. You only speak Farsi and, and little English. <laughs> little English, little English? <laughs> thank you so much, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's so nice, so nice. So we have yogurt, and then over here we have like, looks like uh, croutons with syrup. Pushefil. Pushefil. Elephant ears. Oh, okay. So look at that, it's like... Mm -hmm. We have elephant ears yeah. in America in the fairs. Oh. Yeah, so similar. It's so sweet, yeah? Super sweet. And we've got duke. Duke. Really sour. Okay. So we mix it together. Mix. It's the most strangest mix together. So you start with the kushefil. Okay. Yes. So bite. Go for duke. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So sweet and then sour. Yeah. Mmm. Strange, isn't it? It's amazing. I love it. A cracker. But it's full sugar syrup. Yeah. Right? And it's only in this farm. You can't find anywhere in the world. Mmm. You know what it reminds me of? I have to throw it out there. Jello beef. Mm. In India. Yeah. Similar. Not yeah. the same thing. A little different. Obviously, this is like this, right? Yeah. Like a square. Over there, it's circular. Exactly. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Mm. It's so good. Mm. The whole ambiance here. The music, the setting. Yeah. The owner, he passed away six, seven years ago. Oh yeah? He wasn't getting any photo with anybody. But I took his photo over there. Oh, you did? But it used to be part of a cafe. And all the people sitting here, and sitting here, having shisha. Wow. Crazy. It's amazing. Really nice. mm -hmm. I love what they put inside. Do you want more? No, no. This is really filling. This is dinner? No, that's the... Appetizer. Uh, yeah, appetizer. And there's more food here? Or yeah, some more food. We here. have eggplant and curd. Oh, eggplant curd here? Oh, wow, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, my, what, what is it? Uh, what the? Ah, okay, okay, I'll take more. <laughs> For Pega. That looks amazing. This looks so good. We have eggplants, lavash, we have curd. Oh, we got some pickles, we got tomatoes, crispy onions, red pepper. How do we start this? <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to put the carrot on, on, on top? top? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Ready. This is going to be absolutely amazing. So I put it on mine too, right? Yeah. Enough. So curd is like rabbity. Yeah. Basically, right? And you know, my mom used to do that a lot. Yeah? He's mixing it together with the bread. With the bread? Yeah. So how do we do it? So do it like this. Oh. Dip it in the aubergine and curd. Just mix it in there like that? Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> Let's get as much as you can, yeah. right? Dude, the eggplants is like falling apart. Oh. You ready? Ready. Me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, the roasted eggplant. Mm. Nice thick curd. Oh, and the bread. Yeah. It's like it's like wheat lavash, right? Yeah. Let's go like that. Pick up more. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Pick it all up. I love how it is. So many people walking through here. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing.
We're ready, we're ready. Salam alaikum. Salam, salam, salam. He's a taster. <laughs> you ready? Uh huh. This is the key. It's so, so good. Take another one. Another one? Yeah. Okay. I need a bigger piece. Yeah. I got to exactly. Like that. Let's get a lot. Mm -hmm. You ready? Get as much as you can. Right? Mess. <laughs> We're making big messes here. Yeah. Or whatever. You ready? Uh huh. Go for onion. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. mm. Amazing. I love it. Oh, what a dish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the crispy onion? Yeah. Oh, I don't care. Yeah. I made a mess. Mmm. Yeah. Pulls out like that. Oh. Look at this, guys. Wait, what is your heart? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can you eat like this? I don't think so. Now we just take the bread. Here, let's get the bread out of here. So take the aubergine. Okay. Like the whole thing? Yeah. The whole aubergine. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even get mine. Mine's too big. Hold on, hold on. Like that? Yeah. Break this you up. You can't even have that one. Yeah, right? The whole thing. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Mm. Oh my gosh. Don't forget the onion. An eggplant sandwich. Mmm. Mm. Oh, throw some crispy onions on top right here. Wow. This is beyond good. Yeah. I'll tell you, favorite eggplant dish ever right here. Really? Wow. Oh yeah. Mmm, massive eggplant. Wow. Mm. And that's one eggplant. One. There's two in here. <laughs> oh, it's filling. Oh. I love it. It's like Broadway after we started the film. <laughs> after this, you need to sleep. <laughs> it's really filling. Mm, and this lavash is like super crispy. Yeah. Wow. What a filler, huh? Yeah. I thought it was going to be a lighter dish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Love that. I'm in love with this dish. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't stop, my friends. Can't stop. And I'm going to get some of the pickles, right? Yeah. I love the pickles. Is it is it really spicy? I mean, a lot of vinegar in this pickles. It's uh, vinegar. vinegar, vinegar, lots of vinegar. Mm. What an experience! <laughs> what an experience! The bigger experience for me is that every time I'm here eating, somebody's like, "Can I take a picture?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really love this country. This country is amazing. Bye, bye. Bye, girls, bye. Stay safe. Saffron. Yeah. Ready, ready. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Mm, so good. Mmm. Oh, amazing, more? guys. Yeah, yeah, way more. When you do this, it drops like 10 degrees. That's the night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> wait, wait. Salamas, bizarre. What you do here? Oh my god. <laughs> I love this cafe. The food is awesome. Good night and see you tomorrow. <laughs> Subscribe, comment, everything. Bye bye. <laughs>
We're gonna go for gas, nuggets, and it's really delicious. They made it with uh, glucose, sugar, and rose water, and many stuff going in there, pistachio, almond. It's gonna be fun, I promise. Yeah, we're here at the Puya Gats factory. We're gonna see the entire process. Let's go inside, let's start. Yeah, and you know what? It's fun, it's Nisfe Jahan means half of the world. Let's go. Salam, salam. Oh, wow, the whole team. Salam, salam, salam. Hello, hello. So we're gonna put on the 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 uh, uniform here. <laughs> oh my! God. Oh, look at Mr. Chaser. Such a guest. Amazing. <laughs> my turn. Fantastic. Looks good. Okay, I work here now. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Dr. David. Dr. David, right? Hello, everyone. Dr. Ali. I'm going to. I have a surgery this morning. <laughs> we got to cover our shoes. You don't want to go in there with anything, right? That can mess up any of these products. Perfect. Enough has enough. Okay, okay. So this on top? It is? Good? <laughs> I, ha I have no hair, so... You think this is better? Blue. You think blue? Uh, so red? What is this? <laughs> Fantastic. All right, let's go. Let's go inside. So this uh, gas is a sweet as health. Okay, since 1938, this company. Wow, so it's Puya Gas. Hey, my head is too big. No. So I have to use this one. Your hair is too big. Yeah. <laughs> no, my head is too big. <laughs> the bald guys wear the cool hats. <laughs> okay, whoa, we're entering the factory now. Amazing, amazing, look at this. Let's enter. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's actually glucose and sugar and rose water. They mix it together. The glucose uh, modifies the taste of the sugar and making it more delicious. So here they're mixing in. This is why it becomes so pasty, right? Exactly. So how long does it go for? Do we know? Uh, Four hours. Four hours. Yeah. Okay, and then once it's done, which is almost done now, he's gonna pour it out. Exactly. They're adding egg white, um, and they're starting to mix it again, and then they add pistachio and other stuff to it. Oh, okay, so everything's being mixed right in here. Exactly. Here we have two different variations. The regular one, just water, and the other one is watermelon. That's why you can see watermelon right here. So they use that to change the flavor, of course. Oh, I'm excited, this is gonna be amazing. The smell here? Oh, you can smell the sugar. Oh, it's gonna be good. David, he's the boss. He's the boss? His daughter and Hanifa. Hanifa is the guy that was making the gas of Nova. So he created the recipe? Yeah, they call him Khalifa. Khalifa? Yeah, like he's, he's the king. He's the king. <laughs> Sultan. <laughs> This company was started in 1938 by his father, so three generations in the family. So we still have about 30 more minutes before that is ready and they're gonna pour it out. So I'm gonna show you the watermelon, right? This is the final product. Oh wow, look at that. Pistachio, some powdered sugar, very dense, at the same time very soft inside. Very sweet, pasty, mmm, so nutty, delicious. Mm hmm Oh, it's good. Mm hmm Citron, watermelon, and plain. So they got three flavors. Okay. Saffron, watermelon, and plain. Can I try them all? <laughs> <laughs> good? Here we have saffron. Yeah. Saffron mixed by pistachio. I guess I'm gonna try it. Okay. Let's go, saffron. Where's the taster at? Taster, you're gonna try it? Come, come. Saffron. Let's try it together. So that's watermelon. The watermelon's delicious, by the way. I just had a watermelon one. Is it watermelon? Oh, it's so good. I'll try this one then. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think that's better. My first time. Mm -hmm. oh. That one's delicious. This is very good too. Saffron, of course. Like the ultimate. Spice, we're done. Mm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Breakfast right here. No. <laughs> and right here, this is plain. It's plain. It reminds me of a marshmallow, guys. 
it's like so soft in the middle. Outside dense, but inside super soft. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh wow. Plain's great too. Mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna be more bland, but it's not. It's very sweet. I love the nuttiness. Mmm. Pistachios. Oh wow. It's like I think the watermelon. Yeah man, the watermelon is pretty good. Ah, oh, I love the watermelon. But the saffron, of course, saffron is the ultimate spice, but this is so good too. So it's dense on the outside, inside it pops like a like a like a marshmallow. Yeah. Uh, boom. So right here we have egg whites. So we're gonna add this to the paste, right? Okay, so that's the egg whites that we see right here. They're stirring it. It doesn't stop stirring. Then they add one of these ingredients yeah. depending on which one they're making, correct? Yeah. Okay, and then this is going to go inside there and then they're going to add pistachio or almonds. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it, got it. Glucose. Glucose. Sugar and what water else? Look at the egg whites. The egg whites are like super fluffy, almost like whipping cream right here. Oh, it's going to be so good. I can't wait to see this. He's going to add taranja bean. So here he's adding taranja bean. Over here he has rose water. Oh, it smells so good with the rose yeah. water. Rose water, taranja bean, and egg whites. It looks so good. Looks so I, good. I really just want to have this. It's, it's like ice cream, isn't it? It is, it is. Yeah. It's like whipping cream, you know? I'm going to jump in there. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in it as well. <laughs> Mr. Taster No God. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna get the whipped cream. And throw it in. All right, so I'm put a glove on. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, so right here, watch this. <laughs> oh. Amazing. The best part. Mm. Oh, it's too good. Oh, well done. Oh, it's heavy, man. Yeah, it's it's heavy. so heavy. Look how beautiful it is. It's nice wow. and thick and fluffy now. It's like wow. Ice cream. Yeah, exactly. It's like thick ice cream, right? Ice cream. Last one for me, guys. My hand hurts. I can't anymore. Ooh. Okay, my friend. You like that with your hand? Gets to get all of it. They don't leave any of this delicious whipped cream. We just saw them cut the watermelon and now they're gonna extract the juice. Yeah, he's adding the watermelon very slowly. When he's pouring the watermelon in, the, like the aroma popping from there, it's like literally like I'm eating watermelons. That's how like pungent it was, crazy. Oh, so good, so good. This guy's the man, hey. Merci, merci. Oh. Merci. Okay, so right here we have uh, some type of willow and saffron, right? Yeah. Oh man, amazing! It's like saffron Is it, water. Is it mm -hmm. good? Did you like it? Amazing. I mean, so refreshing, man. So refreshing. Oh, I can, I can like drink saffron all day. Amazing. Oh, I would have like ten more. So now he's got uh, egg, egg white and watermelon and you're gonna mix it together. You know, when we added the watermelon over there, it was for taste. Here, it's just for the color. You see, it's thick. It's already ready. We're just missing the nuts, the yeah. honey, two or three more minutes, and then done. done. And now comes the pistachios.
So you're gonna give you a hot gas or hot no gun, so you can try it and taste it. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's gonna mix it with this powdered sugar? Yeah. Oh, mm. Very nice. Mmm, hot and nutty. soft. Mmm. Mm. So nutty. Oh yeah. That's the best. Precious. Whoa. Amazing. I'm so happy. So now that they're pulling it out, they mix it with some powdered sugar, and they put it on this uh, plate. They measure or they weigh it, right? So then they know exactly how much weight. They take out some if it's too, if it's overweight, and they move it over there, and now they're gonna flatten it. Okay, so we're gonna try it right now, right after the cutting. Yeah. Ready? This one is normal one. Mm -hmm. No saffron, no watermelon. We've got 35% pistachio and almond. You ready? Ready. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. What you mean? It's nice and thick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's so good. It's amazing. I can chew it for all day. Mm-hmm. It's almost like chewing gum. Yeah. Very thick. Mm, with the nuts. You need to make it softer. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's super thick and dense. You gotta break it down, slowly chewing through it. Let me try again. Tiny piece. Right here. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So good. Breakfast of the cha yeah. champions. <clears throat> Very delicious. Very fresh. Very fresh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So this one is called yeah. Sohar. Sohan. Sohan. Yeah, so I had this in uh, Kwam. Yeah, but a bit different. No, no, no. Mm. A bit different, yeah. It's really crispy. This is crispy like yeah, a cracker. Yeah. Mm, delicious. Again, one more. So what these women are doing is they're separating the good blocks from the little ones, right? So all the little ones, that's not going to be sold. That's not going to fit in the packaging. So they're separating it completely over here to the left, right? So they separate it and then they make sure every single one of these is perfect. And over here what they're doing is they're putting powdered sugar on these pans. Because the ones that are ready are going to go into the powdered sugar. And from there they go into the small packaging. Love the process. This was amazing. Gas. Wow, amazing, amazing. My friend, my friend, the owner right here. Thank you so much. Hey, merci, merci, merci. This is not a gift, is it? No, it's, it's the old package. It's the old packaging. Yeah. Wow, I love yeah, it. Yeah. See. 30 years ago. Almost 30 years ago. I just want to In Oh, his grandfather. You're too nice. You're too kind. This is too much. Too much. Too much. No way. You really give me all this? No way. Oh wow, wow, look at this. This beautiful box. Saffron. Saffron? And another one? Plain? They are too kind. They're gifting me all this. I mean, it's ridiculous. They give me every, basically all the different ones, right? Saffron, watermelon, and plain. Plus, they gave me this beautiful box, wherever it went. Incredible. Oh, this is the watermelon? In the shape of watermelon. And amazing, one. amazing. Yeah, Guys, one. too much. Look at that. Box. I, I don't even want to open it, man. Yeah, there was. No, th this box is, is just gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Merci, merci. Thank you. Thank you. Merci, this is... You're welcome. This is beyond. Guys, now you know where to buy the guts, right? Most delicious sweet here in Esfahan. You have to buy their guts. Puya guts, right? So you say yeah. Puya. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, seeing how gas is made here at the Puya factory in Isfahan. So the whole process from start to finish, what an amazing experience. I love these people. My friend, thank you so much. Merci, 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 merci. You're too kind. The owner's daughter is so nice, so nice. More, more, no, 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 no. Too much, too much. Too much. You have to taste this one? Oh, you're going to taste it? What? More. How was it? Oh, oh. oh. out of this world. Mm. Mm. So delicious, nutty. That was our last surprise. Last <laughs> surprise? Wow. My man. Hey, merci. Oh, strong, strong. <laughs> well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And big thanks to Kutuk Travel for this experience here in Iran. 
Thank you guys. Thank you. Oh, amazing, amazing. Amazing. We'll right. see you in next trip. Good afternoon, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Esfahan, Iran, my friend, Mr. Taster. Hey. I am so excited. We're going to a restaurant today that has been serving a dish for over 120 years. Yeah, 120 years. They're selling biryani. Biryani, actually. The, the shop is biryani. The food is biryani. And it's for 300 years that this, this place they're selling foods. Wow. At the restaurant. Yeah. And he's the owner. He's the owner. He's the owner. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Mr. Shafat. Welcome. So this is lamb. It, there's lungs? Lung. Lung. And Lung. Meat juice. And meat juice. You're going to love it. Oh my gosh. I'm not washing my hands for two days because I want to spell it for the whole Oh, time. okay, okay. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so let's go inside. We have a, a whole crowd behind us. Let's go, let's go. It's the steam of the meat juice. They put the bread in it just to make it smell, you know? And this is what? This meat juice. This is meat juice, yeah, the lamb. Oh man, it smells. The aroma. Yeah. It smells too good. Look at that. Oh. What are they spraying that with? Saffron. 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 Yeah. Oh man, what is that? This is the lamb. This is insane, guys. Look at this. He has the juice. Then the lamb patties, perfect. Lung. Some minced lung. Yeah. That's amazing. Right here, right at the beginning. This is boiled lamb, minced lamb, right? Then they add parsley. Then after that, they add saffron. That's why the color is so yellow. Cinnamon mixed with boiled minced lamb. Then they put on these little like skillets, right? And they heat yeah. it up, right? They, they cook it yeah. right there? They, they put it in there, look. Oh, inside the there? In there yeah. So the fire is in there. Wow, I've never seen this before. Yeah. You can find it only in Isfahan, Nesve Jahan. Half of the world. Half of the world right yeah. here. Look at that. This has been such an incredible experience. I love this place. I mean, everybody's so friendly. The food smells so good. I cannot wait to eat. Let's go sit down with the team. Let's eat. Are you ready? <laughs> Mr. Taster, I've never been more ready. <laughs> oh my so, gosh. Take your onion. My onion? Oh, I'm sure you're going to love it. Yeah? So we've got curtain in parsley and meat juice and some tomato as well. Oh my gosh. I spend it first. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never been crazy like that for a year. I, I'm so happy right now. Mmm. 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 Wow. wow. Holy smokes. Man. The bread and the meat juice. If I wasn't married, I was married with Brian. Yes, I would too. Mmm, <laughs> it's so fluffy. Mm. Wow. Mm. I love it. Oh. I can have like two or three of these. Mm. Mm. So much flavor in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're gonna get some of that stuff too? Yes. So there's basil, right? Basil, sweet, sweet basil? basil? Yeah. So just in the hand? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Have some? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, it enhances the flavor so much. I love it. You know, if I, if I gave you this and I didn't show you how it was made, you'd think it's like the most delicious, like scramble of eggs, yeah. you know, with meat juice. But wow, it is literally heaven. Mm. It's so rich. I love it. Mm, me too. Whoa. Some more basil. Mm -hmm. I can't, can't stop eating. It's really filling. It's so juicy. Finish. You're done? I'm done. Maybe you're done right now. Mm. They knew I was going to love it so much, they brought me a second one. <laughs> Dun, da -da -dun, dun. 
Wow. Palate cleanser, Duke. Duke. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh my God. So this is the lung? The lungs. Yeah, the lung. The meat. That's almond with saffron, almond, right? Almond, yeah. Almond with saffron. And this is the bread that went in there. In the steamer. In the steamer, yeah. So take the bread. Mm hmm Have some of the meat. Okay. Like that. Perfect. Have some of the lung. <laughs> and have it. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. The ultimate lamb patty. The cinnamon, nice and sweet. So soft, nice and crispy on the on the edges. I feed the parsley as well. Mm -hmm. The saffron. Oh. There's so much in this one. Oh, I can't. It is too yummy. Oh. Maybe one of my favorite dishes ever. Ever. I'm gonna dance here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Let's do something special. Let's put some sweet berries there. Yeah. So we had it in the afternoon. Now we're gonna have it some onions as well. My mouth is salivating watching him eat. It's like the ultimate lamb burrito right here. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So we got some onion. And now we're happy, like that. Oh. This is heaven. Mm. Mm. I'm so happy. All day he's been talking about this dish. Mm. The lungs give it such a different taste, no? Lots of iron there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you must have it for lunch only. Okay. Because it's too heavy. If you have it at night, then no sleep. Or maybe the day after, we should meet you somewhere else. <laughs> the one dish you have to try when you come to Iran is this one. This blows away everything. I thought Kalebache was number one. Really? This is number one now. Wow. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. You know when food's good, you stop talking. You're like... Mm. I acted in a film called Pastorioni. Pasta and biryani. No way. Yeah. So the film is about pasta in this dish? No. It's a start from this one. Wow. Take off, put it as well. Number two? Number two. The whole combination. The minced lamb, the minced lungs, mm, the saffron, the cinnamon, the bread. This food, totally three dollars. It's really good price. And also, if you see this one, it's from Safavi Yeh. Three hundred years. Uh, more than 300 years, 370 years ago. It's amazing, man. Close. They normally open like at 12, and they finish really quickly. You should be lucky to have it like half past two, three. 
Otherwise, they're gonna fi finish sometime before two o'clock. Hey, merci, merci. See so you. good. Next time I come back, I'm gonna be straight here. This is See the you. best dish of all time. Delicious, delicious. Thank See you, merci, merci. And as soon as you exit the restaurant, you're in the bazaar. Another yeah. bazaar. <laughs> Amazing. And this one has a lot of clothes, shoes. I'm gonna look for a hat, maybe some clothes for my kids. Yeah. Something, something traditional Irani, no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for men here? No? No, no, no. No, no, no for men? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going next? We're going for yogurt stew. They call it for the moss. It's kind of desert and only in this one again. You ready? Let's go. So unfortunately it's not right here. We have to get back in the bus, drive around 20 minutes and we'll be there. All right, Taster, let's go, let's go. Hello. Salam, salam, salam. Hello, hello. This is a yogurt lamb stew, yeah. but it's dessert. It's not a stew, really. It's not really a stew. But it's dessert, yeah. And so you call it horsed. That's the name. Horsed, yeah. Horsed. It's a uh, kind of dessert. It has got uh, yogurt, saffron, a lamb. A lamb. Yeah. So at first he started off with all the yogurt, then he mixed in the lamb. Yeah. Then he just like kept moving it, like basically squishing it, mixing it all together, then pulling it up. I mean, when he pulls it up, yeah. it's like magical. It really yeah, is amazing. It is. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the key thing about it is lamb. Somebody will make it like elastic -y with other stuff like egg, with other stuff, but the 100 years formula is this one. And the next step, we're going to do saffron. We're gonna do saffron, and uh, we're gonna mix it over there, and that's it. The yogurt in, inside has got more fat compared to that one that we mix the lamb together. That's two different kind of uh, yogurt. So this yogurt, we're gonna add saffron here when they mix. Is that yeah. what's gonna happen? Yeah. And then eventually they mix them both together. All together. All together. Yeah. For me? Yeah. So describe it this. Oh my gosh, yogurt with saffron. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's thick. Oh, let's look at the saffron. I can't wait to try the real one, though. The full version. <laughs> <laughs> um, the original one is with sugar, but for the first time, they're doing it with honey. So, it's gonna be more delicious, I believe. Oh, yeah? Mm. Mm. It's gorgeous. This is how I like my yogurt, with honey. <laughs> now that they mix the saffron and the honey, next step, add the lamb and yogurt mix, right? Yeah. Right into it. Oh, we're gonna try fresh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, so fresh. It's like fluffy yogurt with lamb throughout, saffron, the honey. Oh, thank you. Wow. You missed it. What? It's so good. We're having it fresh. <laughs> the best ever. Ever, ever. I have one more spoon. One more. Super fresh. <laughs> wow, it's so good. Wow, this afternoon has been heavy. Lots of delicious food. We had two incredible dishes. We had biryani yeah. since 1905 in that restaurant. The most amazing dish I think I've ever had in my life. I mean, one of them. Yeah, it was I really mean, delicious. top dish in Iran. And we had fresh mas. It's so yeah. good. It's my favorite yogurt ever of all time. It's the only dessert in the world with lamb. 
<laughs> it's, it's so wild. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, seeing the process of how both of them are made. They're so delicious. When you come here at Isfahan, you have to go to both these spots. My man. And thank you to... Kutuk. Kutuk. Kutuk, Kutuk Travel. Agency. Thank you so much for You're bringing amazing. me here. Thank, thank you, you so much. They made this trip possible, yeah. so thank you so much. This was awesome. And thank you, my man. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> I need a bed. This, this food is heavy. Follow me on YouTube as well. Yes. Subscribe, comment, do it all. See you soon in Isfahan. Good evening guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here from beautiful Esfahan, Iran, and with my friend, Mr. Taster. Hey. Wow, look behind us. We have the 33 Arch Bridge of yeah. Esfahan. Siosapol. And we are very lucky because only 20 days a year do we have water here. Yeah, we do, actually. We, we only got 20 days, and you are very lucky to be here with this gorgeous bridge, Siosapol. Siosapol. So what we're doing today, we're gonna see the bridge, we're gonna see the Copper Bazaar, we're gonna have some porridge, and we're gonna see a carpet area, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. We're gonna see Persian carpet, and many carpets are from Isfahan as well. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jahan, Isfahan, half of the world. Let's go. Ali, Ali. Yeah, right. I love this bridge, man. I love it. Yeah. Lots of people on the other side, you see? Oh, wow. And the same thing every day. <laughs> Look at this, people go actually into the water. There's a small area here where you can walk in, but you gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa. That is going really fast, really fast, the water. If you wanna be brave, take off your shoes, walk out there. We still have a lot of things to do tonight, so I'm not gonna risk it. You could easily slip, right? Yeah, it is just 300 meters anyway. You can try it, okay? So you can walk 300 meters and come back. Yeah. So this is it, the 33 Arch Bridge. Gorgeous, must visit. Hopefully you have water when you come. Only 20 days a year. So you yeah. have to be very, very fortunate. <laughs> yeah, lucky person you are here with the flow of water, actually. Amazing, amazing. No, this is stunning. Okay, guys, let's cross this bridge. Let's see the view from up here. It's such a beautiful place. So you have the park around us, the lots of people here. It's already eight at night, 8 p.m. The sun hasn't set. We're entering summer. If you want to, you can walk on the outside of the bridge on these corridors. You know, the other side is really packed. This side, less people, of course, because the sun is here. So it's a lot harder to see, but this is nice. Super nice here. Dr. Ali John coming. Dr. Ali John, you're coming, you're coming. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing, you see? Zayende root means a river that gives birth to life in Farsi language. And uh, its source is far away from here. Uh, it was the symbol of life. Hey, 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 no more selfies. No more selfies. <laughs> We're supposed to take like 10 minutes across this bridge. We're taking like 30 minutes because Mr. Chaser, they don't stop stopping him. It's like the whole time they're stopping him. Oh man, <laughs> let's run away. <laughs> this is really wild. This is wild. I gotta hide this guy's hair. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, now we're gonna try some porridge. Some porridge, very special porridge from Isfahan. Oh. All right, guys, we made it. Let's get some porridge. Woo! Porridge time. All right, we're going in the back to see them serve us some porridge. And it's right here. David, it's for you. That's for me? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's the Fernie porridge. Wow. It's so jiggly. I have, uh, you know, the owner uh, was my friend, and me and Trevor came exactly before the corona. And unfortunately, he passed away. So sorry for that. So that's what is that, honey? Um, no, that's uh, grape syrup. Grape syrup. Grape syrup. Yeah. No way. Fig dates and grape syrup. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready to try. <laughs> <laughs> For David. For me, this whole yeah. thing. Amazing. Oh my gosh. For you. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> wow. What is this? Uh, this is pommier. Mmm. 
خودم؟ خودم؟ نه 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 Very similar to the elephant ears, just very doughy in the middle. Oh, <laughs> please. Oh, syrup, yeah. more syrup. Yeah. Make it nice and sweet. Oh, look at that. Mmm. 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 Mmm, so nice cold. Oh, oh man. I like the taste. Mm -hmm. Me too. So what was in there? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> well, in the syrup, it's, yeah. it's fig, um, what was it? Fig, grapes, and one other thing, one other fruit. Mm. Dates and... Oh, dates. Mm -hmm. Grape, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. Best thing is to mix it in, right? Like that. Oh, oh yeah. It's not too thick. It's just right. Mm. I like this for dinner. Mm. We need a break from all the meat. Yeah. Mmm. It's definitely the best pork I've ever had. Oh. Mm. So fluffy. Oh yeah. I'm gonna finish this plate. Some people try this with cinnamon. With cinnamon as well? Uh, oh yeah, I'm sure. Very delicious. Yeah. Really something. And probably some saffron here in Esfahan. Yeah. <laughs> probably, probably. Yeah. Always saffron. Saffron everywhere. For everything. Yeah. Water? Water? You don't get money again. No. Again and again. No. <laughs> you are too kind. And what, what is the price though? What would the price be? It shouldn't be that much, but obviously we have the biggest bowl, right? 30, 40 cents. For the one we got? Yeah. No, no. No, no, for this one. For the smaller ones, yeah, yeah. For the small ones, yeah. I'll tell you. Tiger, I've never seen somebody get so many t selfies. Too much. It's amazing though. Mr. Taster is super humble. He'll give everybody a selfie. Never, never not give anybody a selfie. Dude, you give it, your fans are awesome. You're awesome. Okay, so let's go. What are we doing? David, it's a friendship alley. Friendship it's, alley? Yeah. So when, when two people had, like, they didn't speak to each other what, ages ago, when they were coming here, nobody could pass without kissing each other. Oh, wow. So, look, imagine me and him, we are not yeah. speaking to each other. Imagine that. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's amazing. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the Copper Bazaar. Let's go, guys. Oh, man. The porridge is filling. We got the big one, though. We had, like, the, the four times bigger XL. Now we are heading for the S square and then through the S square to the carpet gallery, the Copper Smith Bazaar, and then to the bus, and then to the hotel. That's and then I'm going to sleep. Yeah. Well, someday. Massage. Massage. Uh, massage. Oh, yeah. please, gosh. Yeah. I need one. I need one. Okay. Wow, so this is like another bazaar, basically. 11.30, massage. <laughs> so, the 11.30? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. The sun has set, we're back in the main square. Over here we have Grand Bazaar, Grand Mosque. Look at this, such a beautiful evening. This is where everybody congregates at night. This is when the city comes to life. It is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, so peaceful. Ali. This is gorgeous. Yeah, perfect. The best time to visit this place is early evening and early night, actually. And lots of families here just picnicking. They have tea and very small dishes to try the dinner here all together to enjoy the life. So this is the very simple life you can have this moment in the spring season in Iran and Isfahan. Next all right, let's go. This is the Kabar Bazaar. Yeah, one of the very nice area of the market. You can get around, have a walk, to see different stuff in copper. The cups, plates, trays. This is amazing. Everything in copper. So every single vendor is selling copper. Yeah. That's it, yeah, it's copper. I love this market. This market is the best market of them all. I mean, seeing the guys making 
the different copper works, their craftsmanship is phenomenal. So many different things here. You have these beautiful horses, different animals here, the peacocks. Look at this. The day I have my future home, I'm gonna get one of these. There's so many beautiful animals here. Let me go inside and let me see this. Hello, hello. Oh, it's incredible. Wow, so many beautiful ones. I love these lions, the leopards, the falcons. They have small animals, they're like really small ones. So you can take one of these home if you want or you can take the bigger ones if you want. Wow, this is epic. Oh wow, they have like medieval stuff here, crazy. That's it for the Copper Bazaar. Now let's head out to the Persian carpets. Let's go. That's it, Ali? Salam, salam, salam. Salam, salam. Very good. You? Ali knows everybody here. Hello, hello, David. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Wow, wow. This is amazing. Persian carpet. Can't wait. Dude, it's amazing. It's too much. It's too much. Crazy. Look. Show me, show me. Oh wow, that one's beautiful. This is butterfly design. Butterfly. How big is this carpet? This is four meters by two meters. Wow. Incredible. Butterfly. Look, I'm in. Huge. I'm gonna take off my shoes. Oh, I want to fit it correctly. Oh god. All right, I'm gonna sleep right here. Oh. Wow. That's great, man. David, this is our own productions, actually. I have to maybe explain you that this carpet is produced in northwest of Iran, and it's a replica from the 17th century carpet in Metropolitan Museum. So what our foundation do, we are producing the carpet, a modern style of carpet, but what is our philosophy mainly is we are bringing the carpet into the stage of 17th century, and we combine with the nowadays coloration that the people, they are needed and we can say that in 17th century in art we reached to the peak of the art like in Safavid time so we have not much news to, to say about any term of Persian art just we are repeating reproducing and recoloring so this is amazing that you see the copper that mainly which is our own production or the killing that we have they are totally innovated nowadays as well this is also one of the pieces in silk. Actually, this is, we can say, it's a combination of Persian, wow. old Persian design or Herat design, which is famous as the fish tail design, that you can see the tails, as you can see the fish, actually, mm -hmm. the tail, with the kind of flower which are famous as an Abbasi flower. This Abbasi flower is representative of one of the artists that we have in 17th century, Reza Abbasi, which we have his museum also in Tehran. A tulip shape or the pomegranate shape of the design that you can see is being uh, repeated here. Well, I'm blown away. This is amazing. This is Venus. The name of this color. Uh, you can see this yellow color is come from asparagus. Uh, the blue color is come from indigo. The red combination of color actually is come from the pomegranate skins, madders, or cochineals. It depends on the type of red that they want to produce in a carpet. This is over 100 years old carpet from the Kurdish tribe of Iran because we have the nomadic carpet as sim geometrical pattern and the city carpet as symmetrical patterns. Look, David, the page leaf was this part of the hand, the hands, the king's hands that is being repeated in a carpet textile of many centuries in Iran, Caucasia, and Kashmir. This is a combination of the, actually, wool and silk combined with the precious stone from different regions of the world and also Iran. It's got about 1,500 knots per pile of this carpet, over 169 knots per each square centimeter. It takes about two and a half years to make it. 
Two and a half years to make this one. Two and a half years to make this one, yeah. So what is the price on this one? Well, this is the estimated price is three hundred thousand no. dollar. Wow. Uh, but recently, me and my brother Ali, we produced a carpet on base of seventeenth centuries patterns, which is nowadays in Shanghai Museum. Uh, it's on the show, and it's made of the string of the gold, which is a polarized technique, and that is the most expensive carpet yeah. in our collections. Over three and a half million dollars. Yes. Exactly. Wow, incredible. And it's on display. It's on the display in Shanghai uh, Tower, in Shanghai Tower, which is nowadays is on display, yes. Oh, wow. I love the colors. This is the indigo blue color. It's my favorite color. Fascinating design. No symmetric, no sense of everything is geometrical. Wow. Broken lines. It's a modern art actually, this one, but the, the pattern is from 17th century and these pieces of cloth are too. David, this is our logo, as you see on the business card too. And this is 1399 produced last year. So this is, uh, I can tell you, we are, our selling price is about, I should check it up, I think it's about $21,000. But of course we give you a very good discount. $21,000 for this, it took them one year to produce it. That's incredible, beautiful. I love the indigo. Wow, it feels so good too. So now you guys know, when you come to Ishvan, come here to Carpet Lovers Club, check out all their incredible carpets. They have some amazing designs from $200 up to $3 million, just incredible. And yeah, that's it. Let's go, my man, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. See you around, see you in the world. See you in Iran again. For sure, for sure, thank yeah, you, yeah. thank you. Next time, next time we go to your factory. Okay, for sure, together. Awesome, awesome. Okay. My man, we did it. Porridge, Copper Bazaar, yeah. carpet, incredible experience. I'm done though, I'm, I'm done. done. To be honest with you, the biggest surprise for me was the bridge. The bridge was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I hope you I'm love this tired. video in Ishvan, Iran, my boy Mr. Taster. That's it. Tomorrow we're off to Yaz. And you... thanks to Kutuk Travel as well. Always, always. Thank you always. so much. Thank you so much. We had a great time. And uh, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to him, me, and let's go. Good night.